Kylie Jenner is not someone who likes to get on the wrong side of her mother, Chris Jenner. That much was made abundantly clear on Life of Kylie Season 1 Episode 7, when the mother-daughter embarked on a trip to Peru for a charity organization. The plan was to visit Peru to meet kids with birth defects who were in a better place thanks to the donations from Kylie Cosmetics. Yes, the Kardashians may get a lot of stick for not being all that talented. But that's not to say they're not a helpful bunch. They give back in any way they can, and that's a good thing. Being the diva she aspires to be, Kylie wanted to change the travel arrangements and requested that Victoria asked Chris if it was okay to substantially delay the private jet by as much as five hours. If you watch Keeping Up with the Kardashians online, you will already know that Chris is not someone to be messed with and that she has no qualms about laying down the law. So, we could totally relate to poor Victoria who was asked to speak to Chris about it. The plan was that we were all gonna fly together to Peru, Victoria revealed in a confessional. It was going to be a one-way easy flight, and then I get a text from Kylie saying, actually I'm gonna fly to Miami. Can you ask my mom if the plane can pick me up? This adds five hours of travel time to Chris Jenner's flight. No way. No way am I gonna ask your mom. Are you kidding? I was terrified of asking Chris, she concluded, before telling Kylie to ask Chris herself. Kylie then revealed that she, too, would be too scared to ask as she recalled various moments from her childhood. I was scared of my mom growing up, Kylie revealed on camera. She was really scary. She still is scary, but now we have more of a friendship. When it came to telling Chris about the last minute switcheroo, you could tell she was not impressed, but she did agree to it. Who wants five hours added onto their travel? Nobody, that's who. When the group landed in Peru, they made their way to meet the workers from the Smile Train organization. They went for food, and Kylie whined about everything on the menu. I just need some F King spaghetti. Mom, I'm really hungry, you know? I just don't think that this is gonna fill me up, she complained to her mother. While Chris claimed the food looked good, Jordan confirmed in a confessional that she and Kylie were genuinely hungry. We didn't eat the whole day, and when Kylie doesn't eat the whole day, she's not Kylie. She's a monster, she revealed. In the end, Chris got mad because of the constant whining from her daughter and said the following, Well we can't leave right now. Play ball, kid. We sure hope Kylie got a side dish of ice for that burn. When it came to meeting the kids, Kylie was ecstatic to know that her money was being put to good use. It's amazing to know that the money that I'm donating is actually doing something and changing lives, she said clearly happy that she had something positive to put into the episode. This is very overwhelming. Kylie added in a confessional, it is heartbreaking to know that there are so many people who just don't have the resources. Kylie alone has helped over 13 comma poor kids. 34 children this weekend, said one of the Smile Train employees. The mother and daughter were then invited into surgery with one of the kids and it opened their eyes to what goes on for people with limited resources. This is changing her entire life. It makes you think twice about what our problems are, you know what I mean? Chris said to her daughter as they had a moment. They visited the child the next day to make sure everything went okay. She looks perfect, the reality star said. She then held the infant and asked, Are you going to remember me? I love Mia. She added in a confessional, this experience really made me appreciate my family and my health. Chris said to her daughter, you have the biggest heart. I'm so proud of you. Maybe the five hour delay and whining about the limited food menu were worth it. What do you think about all of the action? Sound off below.